Most of us realize that as a substance heats up, it can turn from a solid to a liquid and finally with enough heat into a gas. So why is it then when salt and water and oxygen are at the same temperature they're all different states of matter. Salt being a solid, water being a liquid, and oxygen being a gas. Salt is a solid at room temperature because Na is positive and Cl is negative. In nature, opposites attract. So, Na strongly attracts to Cl. And that's why all these particles are so close together. The melting point of salt is about 800 degrees Celsius or 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Think of these particles as magnets. And we know opposites attract. <coughs> particles in a solid can vibrate, but they cannot move freely. Water, or H2O, is a liquid at standard conditions. Hydrogen has a partial positive charge. Oxygen has a partial negative charge. There's a medium attraction between water molecules. The partial positive of the H is attracted to the partial negative of the O. This causes the water molecules to stick to one another. But the force of attraction is not strong enough to lock them in place. Have you ever seen a cup of hot coffee? You can see how the water molecules are free to move around. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius. Or 212 Fahrenheit. These temperatures shows how much energy it takes to separate these molecules. Which we know is boiling. Oxygen, or O2, is a gas in standard condition. Because it has no opposite charges. Which means one oxygen molecule has virtually no attraction to any other oxygen molecules. In order for oxygen to become a liquid? It would have to be negative 183 degrees Celsius. Which is very cold! Even the slightest bit of energy is enough to overcome the attractive forces. And allow the molecules to move apart and freely. Respect.